What's going on everybody? Just wanted to clean you up first. Okay, we're over at my friend's oh, Paul's place, Henchman Hot Rod. And uh, here's One Man Miracle Shop. And we're going to do this brand new bumper for, we're going to show everybody the car. Go ahead. Look where he works. It's paradise. Don't, hey, don't look at the right side. Look at the left side. Yeah, so he's gonna eventually do the quarter repair and stuff like that. But basically, we're gonna do this brand new um, uh, bumper. We're gonna do a brand new bumper. We're not gonna blend anything. We're gonna do. We're gonna attempt to do um, a bumper, just a bumper job, and hopefully get a better match than factory on this uh, G37S. And uh, the fun part about it is that uh, we're gonna be using a paint that I haven't been using. I haven't used this paint much. I've only done black on that Corvette that I've been helping him with. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do the bumper and we're going to go through the whole process. He's gonna teach us how to go through the whole process. So he's gonna teach me, which in return, hopefully you're gonna be listening and watching and you're gonna be in on an action on, uh, on what's the procedure for him. Uh, he uses, what do you use? Chromax Pro Exalta. Chromax Pro Exalta. Mm -hmm. He sounds like a Italian guy. He's not Italian guy though. Chromax Pro Exalta. Chromax Pro Exalta, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we got a brand new, brand new uh, bumper, raw plastic. So he's gonna walk us through, what are we gonna do, Paul? Walk us through the, so from the beginning to the end. Right. Well, first of all. I make sure you're smiling in the camera. I oh, don't, that's right. Everyone I don't allow people me. on my channel not to smile. I'm smiling, smiling. Okay. And uh, that's Samson. What's up, Samson? First thing I'm going to go check, though, is. What kind of dog is he? Uh, he's an American Bulldog. Because I see those comments going. He's an American Bulldog. He's a, he's insane. He's 104 pounds right now. <clears throat> and he's only a year old. And we lightened him up a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Poor guy. All right. So first off, I'm going to go check because I think there might be a textured section at the bottom on that other bumper. So okay. Before I uh, go any further, let's do that. But uh, I check these bumpers over. I see a repair from this end. So if you look down this, I can already see we have some scratches and stuff that we're going to have to look at. So that's some scratches, probably a repair from the factory. Um, they probably, they was probably rough and they just sanded it rough. So that's if you know that could be a problem after um, with sealer, those scratches may not be covered. So that's the first thing we do. We're going to inspect. So after inspection, uh, I do like to water sand. So we will hit this with uh, 1,000. Uh, take care of those scratches, so I know they're gone. Once it's been water sanded, we will clean it, get it ready for, like Gabriel said, adhesion promoter, then sealer. After that's done, we can paint the dang thing. But uh, up until that process, uh, we'll, we'll, like Gabe says, we'll walk him through it. I'm just gonna teach him, as if he was a painter for the very first time on this system. So you'll just hear me in the background, and I just want him to show you guys how easy this system is for me to use and everybody else. All right, okay. next thing. Next thing we're gonna do. Keys are in there. You're right there. What was that? Oh, the keys are in there. Oh, okay. That's a, <laughs> that's a good guy. So we got uh, we got uh, the VIN number. So we gotta get the VIN number of that, and then we're gonna go punch it in the computer. All right. Next thing, oh, we're going cool. to go in the computer. Samson, get out of the way. All right. So well, he wants to be in the middle of the action. That's right. He ain't going nowhere. <coughs> you're in his spot, actually. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're the engine. Okay. So where do I go? Oh, sorry. So yeah, we... let's go back again. Hold on. Right, so. Okay. So we go Chromax. Yeah. I hope you guys can see this. Looking for a color. And then we go looking for a color. We're looking for formulas. Formulas. Manufacturer. Manufacturer. So we're working on an infinity today. Infinity. Right. There you go. No, right there. Wait. Oh, there it is. Uh, manufacturer okay. cool. Manufacturer code K51. K51. Okay. And I looked up this color at uh, at the shop, and there was uh, 14 variants, or no, 24 variants. Okay. There was four like on the standard list, and then 24 specials, which could be a really good thing and a really bad thing. Okay. 
And then let's do a search. And then we'll do search. Yeah. Okay. So, so we got two there. Yeah. And then there's their special, so that's it. No, that's it. That's it, all you well, got? No, no. So it's giving you, so this is an underhood color. Okay. So as uh, you can see, it's telling you underhood. So oh, this is that okay. gray primer that we try to match all the time. Yeah, okay. They give us a great formula for it and it matches okay. every time. All right. So we want the so we exterior want this color. Uh, we go straight to next. Okay. So there, there's our variants. That's all of them. Okay. So there's three variants. All right. So on this one, though. Cool. So what are we going to do next? So with this, what I normally do, uh, there's only three variants. There's two ways we can go. We can pull the cars directly, but what I like to do is use a Vindicator. So Vindicator. Yeah, I know so uh, maybe some of you are uh, familiar with it. What the heck is it? I don't even know. So, so what is it? Here we go. So <coughs> on the, where you've got your uh, formula variants, yep. up top here it actually is, there's a, a button that says Vindicator. What okay. Vindicator allows you to do is click on this button, Okay. and enter the VIN. Okay, so we're gonna enter the VIN number. Okay. So we put the VIN number in, what's yeah. next? Uh, it'll autom automatically pick the variant that it wants you to use. Okay, according to the VIN number. That's right. That's pretty cool. So okay. th that's where we're at now. Okay. So what you can see too, I wanna point out, so when it selects your variant, it'll automatically, you'll see this X move. So it'll tell you which card that you're gonna use. Okay. So what I also do is I pay attention to that at the beginning, so I know which variant it's using. So it's V1. Right. So even after I pull up my thing right now, I can still go pull a card okay. and get the V1 card, so I can okay. double check. Right. Okay. Even, even though this is right 90% of the time, yep. I'm not going to say it's 100% correct. Yeah. It's never, it's never 100% correct. Yep. I still double check with a card once in a while in a blue moon. Yep. It will be a different variant. Right. But very seldom. Okay. I'm gonna, like I said, I check for this. I know that I want variant one. Okay. So now you can click okay and it's gonna go straight to your form. Okay, so we don't have to change any of this no, stuff? No, we don't. Okay. Now, and then we're gonna mix it up. That's right. Now it's just asking for your quantities. So like there's one, two, else. three, four, five, six, six donors. We'll mix this up and then uh, we'll come back. Well, yeah, what we'll do right now is we're gonna go grab the card. So I know it's a Nissan and this is a nice thing about the deck. So Instead of me going back and looking for the variant deck, they have it so it's index, so I know it's uh, Nissan, and they, they'll have all their grays together. So it's very quick to just go through their decks instead of going back. Okay, so let's check this deck. How do you know which one it is? So I'm, it, you can, from here, I would have to exit out of it to find it. Oh, and okay, so we should have, okay, so let's, well, let's go cancel because you should never mix a color before checking it. Absolutely. So we'll go back. And then we'll, is that the, uh, so here we go. So oh, chip number, okay. So it's asking for Nissan Infinity deck number three. No, deck number three, 739-10A. Like I said, I I've never sprayed this stuff, so we're just, I wanted to show you a little bit, uh, something different, you know, something that I don't show you every time. And uh, if you know, if you know me, I don't, I'm not biased. I just show you what I'm doing and then let you come up with your own conclusions. We're just having fun here. And I hope that you get some value out of this video because it's really not about the paint company. It's about the processes and everything you're doing with the paint company, right? So you have to utilize whatever, whichever paint company you're using, you have to utilize every tool that they've had because they remember, remember just like the guns, they, they spent so much money trying to perfect that spray pattern to so you can use it for your benefit so you got to see what is this paint company done to make my life easier so i can put out a better product so right now we're going to look at these chips we're going to go out to the car and check it out so we're outside it's a bit cloudy but still there's still some light so we can check maybe we can check it here okay That's the best one. And this is the variant one. Is that oh. the one the computer no. clicked? No, so it's not, let, eh? Let's okay. see here again. So see, this is why it's important to check, right? Yep. That's very, that's pretty blue. Yep. Still that's blue. That's also blue. And then this one's, this one's not bad. It might need to go a little darker, maybe. Yep. Right? A little more green to it. Yeah. But we can mix that and then go from there. Perfect. But let's, it's probably matches better on the bumper, though. 
Yep, absolutely. Yep, so you see that's the factory bumper, super, super green. And then that's the chip, which looks better. Awesome. So you the the the, the labeling on these are pretty nice. Yes. Probably all shaky. Sorry, guys. I hope uh, you're not barfing yet. So all the, it's nice because it tells you A, B, and C. It's pretty simple. And then the numbers, and then it tells you the uh, the paint coat there. Some some of them are super complicated and have like all kinds of letters and numbers mixed and you know you get lost trying to find a color. You're already stressed out and you haven't even started to paint the car. <laughs> what kind of car is this, Paul? 1971 uh, Chevy Nova. 1971 Chevy Nova, wow. That's beautiful. It'll be on the road soon. So? Also, I like to see, you can see the red now. Yeah. I find that when you come inside too with these decks, you can actually see, because we know that there was two blue and we need to go to the green side. Even the C chip shows that there's some red in there too. Yep. So uh, it, it is a different <laughs> variant completely. So I'm happy with that C. Although it picked us, it picked A for us. So, so it I'm picked gonna, A. I'm going to go back. Yeah. This is the one that it picked. Right. Variant one. So, but after pulling the chips, I think we all agree yeah. that it would have been C. So there you have it. I mean, the, 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 the systems are not perfect. And uh, there's slobber all over my mask here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, freaking uh, <laughs> this guy. Anyway, so, yeah, it goes to show, you know, the, the systems are not perfect. But you got to utilize those tools, right? Um, the, we, are not, we are not at the stage where the computer will make all the decisions for us as painters. So you have to go and look at it yourself and your professional opinion, right? And you see which one looks better. Don't overthink it. Which one looks better? Most of the time, you can tell in the first 10 seconds of looking at that color, which one's the right one. I don't know about you, but that seems to be the case sometimes. And then the longer you look at it, the more messed up you get. So pick the best variant, mix it, and then tint if you have to. And always blend. But in this one, just for the sake of the video, we wanted to just do a bumper, just walk you through the process of doing a bumper on another paint line, which I don't even know and you know I've never done. So it's, it's fun for me because I'm learning something new and, and, and I'm bringing you guys along and I hope you guys appreciate that. If you have personal opinions, Chromax, PPG, whatever paint company, let me tell you something, they don't care about you. All right, they're paint companies and they're businesses. Okay, so don't care so much about them that you're extremely like a die-hard loyal to them. All right, just do your do your job, do the best that you can. Whichever paint you're using, cool. You know what I mean? If if you want to put negative comments, then uh, you're gonna make me cry in the corner and puddle of my own piss and poo, and I don't want to do that. So be nice. All right. Okay. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so we, it we, picked, it picked uh, C, we're going to go, no, it picked pick A. A, we're going to go with C because it looked better. Absolutely. Color mixed, now we're going to put a little bit of, what on here? Adhesion promoter. Adhesion promoter. Black. Are we going to spray this with a different gun, I guess, or no? Yeah, we'll, we'll have it, multiple Is it water from. adhesion promoter or no? No, this is a... a solvent, whatever? A solvent, yeah. Okay. It's like any other adhesion okay. promoter. Okay, so we're just going to pour it straight in there? Yep, so it's ready to use straight out of the can. Okay, so we're going to... We don't eat much, right? Do you mist this on or how do you put this yeah, on? It, it actually goes on as a color, so you can see it go on. And does it dry clear? Yeah, it, you'll see, yes. It allows you to see when you're putting it on. But do we need to put this like a sealer? No, that goes on as is an adhesion promoter, a medium wet coat. Oh, okay. Because like our, our adhesion promoter for PPG, you put it on super light. It's like only like it's like misted on. That's why I ask. Well, uh, yeah. So I that's uh, I guess it's all different. So how much do I need? I don't a know. More. There you go. Okay. Oh, that's weird looking. Green, green, blue, teal. I don't and know. So what you it can is. actually, I believe they put made it a color, so you can actually see how even you're getting right. it on. And then this we can. I'm gonna mix that first. Yeah, we're gonna mix this. Yeah. Uh, all right. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you don't, you can just put thumbs down. If you are, you can put thumbs up. And uh, yeah, there we go. 
So we're gonna mix this up nice. So it's good to nice. There it is, guys. I said it. I said it. Nice, 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 nice. Um, if you've been around for uh, any time at all, you know that I I say nice a lot. It's because I have no other words, right? So it's human psychology that you want to fill in the silences with something, or when you don't know what to say, you just say nice or um or ah or um. you know <laughs> crap, whatever. I have a problem with um. Yeah. Um, so there we go. It's always good. I with PPG, I always 100% of the time. I don't know why I'm talking so fast, but 100% of the time, I will stir it. Even before, um, before I do anything, I always stir. It's always good to stir. No different with Mix, mix everything nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so, um, here, just a little tip for the, uh, the, the PPS 2.0. Don't go like this and then smash them like this. What you want is you want to grab it by the, the, the mouth there, okay? And then just turn a little bit. And if it's all even, then these are lined up to go in the holes, not where the thread is, right? So you just grab it. Instead of just going right to it, put it on top, go like this. And if you see that it's all even, just push down. That's it. And that's all you need to do. Literally. All the time. Okay, what's next? So there's our color, K51. There's that uh, plastic adhesion promoter. What are we going to spray this with, Paul? Uh, the adhesion promoter always with my W300. Okay. Uh, and then uh, this, we'll talk about it later. Absolutely. That's okay. All right, Samson. Oh, good boy. This guy's awesome. Look at him. He will eat you if you come by here. Okay. Now we're gonna what? Water. Water. And oh. a thousand. I can't use that on video. On where? I can't use that paper on video. Why? Because those guys didn't treat me well, didn't get no service from them, left me hanging. So I'm gonna put that piece of paper that I paid for with my hard work money, <laughs> or hard work money, back in my pocket. I'm gonna go get some 3M. There we go. Okay, 1,000. I can edit it out. No, it's the truth. I don't mind. I love the truth. Just water. So we haven't really done anything. We haven't done anything to this bumper. This is the first thing we're going to do to it. So we're going to 1,000. The whole thing. Now remember, boys and girls, don't finger sand okay always kind of like on an angle a little bit also, i'm just teaching this guy this yeah. guy so also this I'm guy not, just started I'm prepping not, yesterday I am so not a fan. so don't make circles no circles <laughs> actually no he's circles. he's been around for a long time okay no he's circles. forgotten more stuff that i will ever know because he's, he's no uh, circles he's awesome so, even polishing everything about this thing stop making circles it's not about circles even when we wax it's not about circles straight lines please everybody crisscross Everywhere. Okay, so we're going to keep sanding until this is dull. All right, that's what you want to do all the time for a, a for you guys to the beginners, beginners, so you know everything has to be dull. See the scratch right there right. showing yeah. up in the water. Yeah. Same thing. That's but one way to look for scratches, right? When you have it wet, you'll see them. They'll stand out. See, they'll stand out like that. But always. Anyways, we're gonna sand this, and then we'll go to the next step. Always a thatch pattern, though. It's a thatch, and that's what they call it. So diagonal, straight, diagonal the other way. There you go. All right, we got to, we're gonna tack it. We're not gonna blow, because we don't have a static gun.
you know, as most of you know, I work in a production shop. And uh, it's kind of nice to just get out and just do some stuff for fun. I mean, I have fun every day, but uh, it's just different, you know. It's good to change an area. Very good to change an area once in a while. So Paul said to put this on sort of light. So whatever that means to me, that's what I'm going to do. Put it on too heavy. Just kind of dust it on even so. It's pretty cool that you know every every paint company has its own. You know, procedure. It's kind of cool to see all that. You know, it's always good. It expands your mind to always, always be learning. So that's what we got from there. And then put the sealer on top of that. We're gonna go wash this up. All right. What do we got next, Paul? Sealer. So we come back up, go to the scale, go to the mixing machine. Uh, once again, we just pull up our product page, okay. and it, we're going to go to products this time. Products. Uh, going to go up the top left hand side. It says sealers. Uh, we're going to pick a uh, 3440. No, yeah, go back. Nope. It actually was there. So start over. So here on our top row, I've oh, added, right here. I've picked them out already. Oh, These favorites. are my sealers. Oh, okay, cool. So this is a white. This is a, a medium gray. This oh, is a dark okay, gray. Okay, so okay. we're going to go with a medium gray because the car is a medium gray. Yeah. It's added, asking if we want to add a flex. I'll be honest. I don't. Right. Um, I, with sealers, I don't have any issues. Never had any issues. Okay. I don't try and put it on heavy light fine. Okay. There we go. So RO once again, I gotta go through you gotta that. Do that. So okay. We'll so that. and then once we mix that, we'll go in the booth and then start spraying it. How are we gonna spray this sealer? Uh, once again, it's a medium wet coat. Get some good coverage. Okay. You want to make sure that you just got a, a nice even wet covered coat. Cool. You can put it all on at once. So we want to let this flash off ten minutes, five ten minutes. If you can touch it and it's solid, you're good to go. Um, and then uh, we're gonna put we're gonna put a medium white coat on sealer, so kind of like a light coat of clear, I would say. Yeah. That and for, I want to make a note too about you say about personal preferences. That right there in your head is hands down. There's not a sealer gun better. Right. Uh, it has a small tight fan. We're using an LPH 300 with a 13 in it. The 13. But the thing is, is it has a really tight pattern, and it, it like it, it it closes nice. So I right. think it puts on the mill thickness and build that we need for a sealer. Okay, and it's got a it's it's so light, it's small, so it makes a really nice uh, sealer gun. I'll leave you to. All right, here we go. Just want to make sure that you guys have the good view on there. Be able to. It's perfect. All right, here we go. Sorry, I wasn't recording. Just putting on some sealer. Put a nice even coat over the whole thing and then uh, I'm gonna let it flash off now awesome this kind of works great for sealer I like it so we got I noticed some nibs and stuff like that so we're just gonna give it a quick scuff it's been about 10 minutes maybe 12 minutes but we're gonna do it with 1,000 just to uh, Best way to tell is, you know, run your hand on it. Even with gloves, you'll feel the big stuff that you're gonna see with paint. I mean, if you really want, you could just sand the whole thing, give the whole thing a quick scuff to uh, to 
uh, get rid of whatever is standing up. I know, if, you know, if you don't have the perfect environment, this is a great step so that, you know, you have a perfect substrate for your base coat, right? Right, Paul? Right. So, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It just, you know, this, this just happens to be his wife's car, so just want to, you know, make her happy. Yeah, what he said. Right. Is this still blinking? Yeah. This thing shuts off sometimes. It did when I was sealing. Oh, uh, you're, you're blinking. So there we go. You know, we got it all nice and smooth. Then that way, you'll know, right, that if you get any dirt, it wasn't in the sealer because you sanded it. What do you think about that sealer? Beauty. That sounds amazing. It sounds really nice. Yeah. I mean, it's only been like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So it sounds really nice for that. All right. Uh, we'll just tack it and then put the base on it. Ready for base? Absolutely. Okay. We're gonna tack this off. You wanna tack real slow. So you don't create a lot of static. Tack nice and slow, relaxed. Mm, breathe in, breathe out. Realistically, you can wash this with pre-clean or you can wash this with degreaser. Because, uh, I mean, the, the sealer's dry. So you could, if you really wanted to, give it a quick wash. It wouldn't be a problem. Now we're developing some static, though, so that's not good. So I'm going really slow. I didn't bring my static gun, or else there would have been a perfect scenario to use it. Before... The before everything and then after everything just not in between coats but this this works well just like blowing with tacking usually kind of like the same thing you want to make sure that you're going slow enough so you're um, you're getting everything because if you don't, it will hunt you. We're gonna put some base. We're gonna put some base on the card without the sealer. I want to see just uh, you know if it covers. This is a little bit of a pain in the butt color with every paint company that I've used. So we're gonna put it still about 22 psi. And I'm just gonna test it here on the so I, I'm supposed to put it on really 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 wet. Wow that covers nice. Holy smokes. Put it on really wet and then another coat over it. So there we go. Find out face. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Here we go. So I gotta put it on really, really heavy. This is this is uh, it's crazy because you know I am like you know, with other paint companies. You can run the base. This stuff seems to be very hard to run. But I know I'm not putting it on heavy enough because Paul said he puts it on really 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 heavy. So I gotta force myself to really slow down like big time. I don't like the way this gun spraying though.
think I'm getting enough on there. I don't know if I am, but we'll find out. Like, I'm putting a lot on. And then, I'm supposed to put just a even coat over it. To even it all out. farther away whatsoever. It's very nice. And okay, we're gonna let that dry. Right. I'm gonna put oh it's still a little wet right there. So I'm just gonna blow dry it real quick. Make sure we're recording. Yeah we are. Alright baby here we go. We're using a production clear just the uh, whatever you would normally use and I'll just... Again, we're using the Motivate Painter Blower. That's what I'm talking about. You can get right up close to it. Get that garbage out of there. All that water, get it out of there. We don't want any water in there. That can cause us problems. And when you think you're done blowing, you keep blowing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful and true. We were talking the other day with Paul that, you know, for us painters, some of us anyways, crazy ones, the, uh, you know, the, the booth, it's kind of like when you go in the shower. You go in the booth and you just like, you go crazy, you know, you go uh, start singing and dancing and all kinds of stuff. Right. Here we go. I'm going to put a medium wet coat. Pretty heavy, wet coat, two wet coats. Here we go. Make sure you get your edges, don't be like me. Even though 
I put sealer on the I put sealer on the bumper and I did it on the card. The match is perfect to the oh crap, I just touched it. Don't do that. But the match is perfect on both of them. Oh polish out. So, we can go. I'm gonna keep that I assume. 10 minutes. I'm just gonna double check with Paul. Hey Paul. No, he's not here. He left me stranded. I should have left this in there. I'm gonna put this back in there. Alright. Okay, so we'll be back for the second code. That looks great. My goodness. Got the card. And uh, I think it looks much, much better than the bumper. I'm happy with it. Not bad. Is it perfect? Nope. No, it's not. Never. Nothing is. Never. But he's going to do the blend. He's going to blend the quarters after. But we just wanted to show a little bit. And that's great. That's not a bad match at all. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but it looks great. I would take that any day. Yep. I'd be happy to put that on a customer's car. It matches better than factory. Awesome. That's great. So it was fairly simple. I mean, we did the coat and a half thing. And, uh, and the reason it I, worked out I well. I did give Gabe the 300. And I know he gave me a 300. Of, he mean, gave, right? gave me an LPH 300 for base. It was I, a terrible gun for base. But here's and, my point, and like, though. it was it, crazy. So Sorry. I want to point out that there it's, we go. it's a name. Fan. It's so and it's, narrow, and it's and it's the worst gun to be putting on a high metallic color with. But my point is, Gabe used it. We just did it, and the metallic is even. It's perfect. When you use Exalted, the coat and half system, they have that dialed in. I don't know what it is about them that they have that dialed in. But I put a coat and a half on. I don't change color. I don't do anything like that. Yeah. So it's nice not to it. have to do a bunch of control codes. So that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it worked really well. The base coat obviously takes a little longer to dry because it's it's a lot wetter than what I'm used to, but you make up for that time because you're not having to put coats and coats and coats and coats. So that's how you spray Crow Max Pro. Crow Max Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say it the same way? <laughs> that's how you spray Crow Max Pro. Okay. Max Pro. Uh, I'm gonna show you the bumper in a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put go. a second coat. All right. Second coat. That looks nice and clean. One of the reasons why it looks clean, and it's so there's there's pros and cons for everything. One of the reasons why this looks so clean, okay, is because the air is coming this way, right? It comes from the top, it comes that way. If I would have sprayed this and turned it around to get more airflow on the face, then that means more dirt. So by leaving it this way, right, if you have a booth, okay, for those of you guys who have a cross strap or semi cross strap, whatever you want to call this, you got the air coming down and then this way. So anything that's there, it's going to come floating towards the bumper, right? So I left it that, like this, this way, it's nice and clean. The base coat did took a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes longer to dry, but it's worth it because you're going to spend 10 minutes less polishing it, okay? Here we go. We're using an Iwata WS400 and this is a 
your side right. side lights on my booth they're all up top this side lights they're so nice to give you a, a look of what the heck you're doing Here we go put a second coat on the card so that's it well wow, that looks great I'm happy with that really clean that spot's almost gone really clean paint job um, nice and even I mean there's nothing wrong with this color like I, I, I was shocked. I mean, going from a half, I had 20, I checked on my computer at the shop and it had uh, 24 variances for this color. So it's kind of nice to just be able to spray it and go. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. But the evenness, even with that crappy ass gun he gave me, the evenness of it is great. I laid down beautiful, I laid down even, no modeling, nothing. I like it a lot. I'm very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. It's, it's, it makes sense that it'll be even because you're putting the base coat on so heavy that you're creating a nice even layer. Nice, 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 nice. A nice even layer of, of base, right? And then that after coat that you put on just kind of evens it out even more. And then because you're putting it on so heavy, you don't have any uh, buildup of sand piling. So it's kind of nice that you can, uh, you have a beautiful substrate for the clear coat to lay down on, right? Because when you put on too many control coats, too many, uh, too many effect coats or whatever you want to call them, drop coats, then you're getting all the, all the paint to kind of go on texturing. This way, the paint coat, the paint just lays down nice and smooth. Therefore, giving you a beautiful finish. That is awesome. That's great. I love that. That was great. And then we mixed. We mixed 15 ounces, so we probably could have mixed 14. But that's great. I'm very happy with that. So, anyways, I am. I hope that. I hope that you enjoyed that video. Um, out here. In the countryside in uh, Selkirk, Ontario. So I hope that you enjoyed that video and I hope, I'm sorry for the shakiness and uh, yeah, thanks for watching this. Please uh, make sure you go and get a blower or make sure you like this video and comment, whatever, share it, do whatever you want. I can't tell you to do anything. But uh, I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that I got to show you something different today. If you have any questions, just comment below. And I'll try to answer. I don't know much about uh, Exalta Pro Max Pro, but uh, but you know whatever I can answer your comments, I will. All right. And uh, like I said in the beginning, boys and girls, I I'm not I'm not biased, right? That's why you see many 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 guns here. On the, that I do a review for, that I use, whatever, because I'm not biased. I just want to add value to your life. That is my goal, to add value to your life as a professional, as a person, and uh, by showing you different stuff, you know, maybe, you know, I can, I can do that. And that's my biggest desire right there. So, where's Paul? He just like laughed to me. He just like went away. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I appreciate welcome. it, and I'm glad that you showed me. The system and how it works i was always been curious so it's really nice um thank you Welcome. any words of wisdom for the young guns and uh people have been doing it for a long time paul's been doing this for a long time guys boys and girls if you don't follow him on instagram follow him on instagram at henchman hot underscore rods? Yeah. hot rods there you go. hence hench hench man m a n underscore hot rods okay He's awesome, he's been doing it a while, and uh, he's got the right spirit of giving back. So that's freaking amazing. And if you don't have Instagram, you should just to follow Henchman and Motivated Painters. And uh, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you so much, Paul. You're more than welcome. Thanks for coming out, guys. 
been great having you guys here. Anything that, like I said, I'm trying to empty my cup. Like, I just want to give it away. I got too much up here that I think is just basic everyday stuff. I just want to give it back. Thank you. Any words of advice? Uh, just the main thing is, is love what you do. Do what you love. That's it. All right. All right. Peace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Much love. Love you so freaking much. And I hope you know that. And if you're new to the channel, hey. go back and see some videos. I'm sure you get a lot of it, uh, tons of value from it. Okay. Love you so much. Pinterest? Oh, look at that. Pinterest? No, no. Wait a minute. Let's, let's make this come alive. You ready, guys? Look at this. Wow. Look at that. So this is a little exclusive for you guys. We're gonna put the Motivated Painters logo on that wall. So if you if you go on Instagram, you'll see all the updates on this and what's going on. We used, uh, well, Paul used Tropical Glitz uh, stuff on there and also Sam stuff. So it's awesome what's going on here. There's a one man shop. He does it all himself. He does it all. Peace.